Warning, this is a public service announcement for small Echo users. Make sure that you don't over tighten your bar nut because this threaded section here is mounted solely in plastic, tiny bit too much torque, and you'll just pull it out. And if you run in your saw when that happens, you'll mangle up all the inside of the casing, even the metal bits. And you could be up a tree when the side casing flies off and the bar spins off the chain and all falls apart in your hands. Like me. I'm not your average tree man and we're gonna try and solve this problem. Let's go. So what are we gonna do about it? We need some spare parts. We need a new one of these, a new one of these bolts, the, um, the pin that holds your bar on. There's two metal plates that sit either side of the bar. This one's all right, but this one, we're gonna need a new one of. That got torn to pieces. And then how are we gonna solve this issue? Of course, Echo could have solved it by not mounting this directly into the plastic which is the main case of the saw. Uh, like practically every other saw that I've, I've seen and opened up this far. We can't find a thread locker insert, um, helicoil type thing. This is an M8 by 1.75 thread. There's a kit to do it, but it's about $200 plus import from America. Not happening. I considered filling the hole and retapping it but if I'm doing that, I thought, why not just use the bit of thread that is there because it does still buy. And just gluing it in place. That seems like the least destructive way to try and fix this. Um, it might not be massively strong, but as I say, the thread is already there. It just needs to strengthen the existing thread. And if it fails, it's not gonna be any worse than when it failed before. And then we can try a more destructive way of fixing it. But I think this might work. So uh, yeah, let's get a new one of these ordered, new one of them ordered. We'll give it a go. So we got some spare parts. We've also got a new flywheel for the 201. We'll uh, get back on that project soon. And we've picked up some milliput, which is two-part epoxy in like a putty format. So uh, yeah, we're gonna cram some of that in the hole, thread it back in and uh, see if it holds. Let's give it a go. I should also mention, I've sucked on the 3M94 primer in that hole as well. So giving us the best chance we can of getting a nice secure bond. I don't recommend a product such as JB Weld with the metal compound. That's designed for going metal to metal. Um, really, you want plastic to metal compound. Um, so yeah, standard epoxy it is. So we left it sat overnight. This stuff, this stuff, this, this is really solid. Like, I have faith. She lives, that Black Panther lives on. So, uh, Give her a bit of tickle, sharpen her up, and then see how she cuts, if she still cuts.
My baby's back. 